Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I'm here with my lady friend and we were talking about how being sexual, you know, over text messages um, with somebody new, somebody you're just trying to holler at doesn't really work that well in most cases. Now, of course, there's always exceptions, but in a lot of cases, it doesn't really work that well. But what you were saying that you would get dudes who would be hitting you up on these sites. So what, what happened? Yeah. And we were kind of trying to decipher why so many men will will go into being sexual right away uh. and why it will so often turn a woman off. Right. Right. Which seems weird, right? Like we like mm. sex too. Mm. We we're we're on a dating site. We, right. We that is kind of the goal. Mm-hmm. But there's a way that getting sexual can happen that will just just scare women off. Yeah. Well, In now general. let's now let's be clear. <laughs> you could message a bunch of chicks and be sexual, and you know you'll you'll get you know a few here and there. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's impossible, but um. What we're saying here is, is that the reason why it doesn't work that well is because for, for women generally, you know, when you send, when you send a chick, let's say, for example, you said you would get dick pics sometimes. So for example, you said that you, you had some dude who, um, you was, y'all was sending messages back and forth and he said some shit like, Hey, three messages. Right. And he was like, that many. (laughs) Yeah. He was like, Hey, um. Um, here thinking about you and yeah. then you know and then you I think you sent them I'm a like response. what do you mean yeah you're like what do you mean and, and then he sends a dick pic he sends a dick and, pic and for me <laughs> and I feel you know I feel like I kind of feel bad for him because I, I'm sure if he got a sexy picture from me mm-hmm. that would be like fun and exciting and intriguing right so from his perspective sending that would you know in theory would make me feel fun and excited and Mm, intrigued right right but the tricky thing is if you're not in person with somebody Mm. you don't know where they're at right and fair enough i have sexy pictures not like crazy sexy pictures but Mm. if you're looking at the pictures on my profile and you're Mm. like i i'm into this lady right right i think she's hot Mm -hmm. um you might feel turned on Mm -hmm. but i'm not there with you we're not like building sexual tension together and i think that's what's tricky is that he was building sexual tension where he was Mm. and wasn't recognizing that i wasn't there with him for me it was so out of context Uh that i was just like i'm sorry i think we're looking for different types of connections and so you don't want to you don't want to see him after that i i kind of don't and and it's funny because yeah this is a dating site Mm -hmm. and and sure, like sex in general is is a goal if you're dating somebody. Mm. But it felt so out of context. And so there was such a disconnect for me mm. that, you know, if that had happened in person, it would have been it, it would would have been a turn off. Right. So so what we were saying is um, if you're in person with somebody and you mm. say, I'm thinking about what it would be like to get your clothes off, right? Mm, right. You can see how she'll respond. She can see her reaction. Right? And if she reacts the way I reacted when I saw that message, mm. then you would know not to pull out your dick. Right. <laughs> right? Right. But poor guy, he didn't know. Mm. Right. <laughs> he just sent those that message and mm. thought, I'm getting turned on. I'm excited. Mm. Let me share this with her. Right. Right. And she'll be there with me. And I well, wasn't. Well, that's the thing about, but see, that's the thing about building sexual tension is that there needs to be uh, tension there. And it has to be between those, you know, the, the two people. So the thing is, through text, you can't, a lot of times you can't really tell, you, you don't know the, the, the emotion that's going on between you and the girl. You understand? And, and you know, you, you can't tell the tone of what's being said. Yeah. So this is why it doesn't really work that well over text. See, you know, what I say is it, the best situation to build sexual tension is in person. Yeah. 
the second best would be, let's say if you, you know, you talking to a chick online, you can do it through FaceTime, like I could FaceTime each other because now you can see her face and her reaction to what you're saying. Um, and the third, I guess, best if you don't, if they don't got FaceTime is just do phone conversation. But through a text though, it's hard, you, it's hard to do that because, you know, you can't decipher the tone and he doesn't know how you're reacting to what he's saying. Right. So that's probably the most important point. If, right. If you're building sexual tension with someone, you need to see how they're responding and respond to that. Right. If you can't see how they're responding mm -hmm. or you're not paying attention to how they're responding, because that can happen in person also. Right. I've definitely had similar situations in person where I was like, wow, he didn't read any of my body language mm. or any of what I was saying. Right. And I had to be very direct verbally mm. and be like, no, thank you. I don't want you to touch me or whatever it was. Right. right? Um, so in the end, if you're building sexual tension with someone in any context, mm. the key is to see how she's responding yeah, well, and respond to that. Well, yeah. And what you're saying is through text, it's almost, it's virtually impossible. Exactly. You can't. <laughs> Unless you've already had sex with her. Right. That's, then, that's another thing. I if if it's a girl, yeah. more mm -hmm. acceptable. Right. If it's a girl you've been <laughs> fucking already. Yeah. And she she already likes fucking you and y'all been, been hooking up or whatever, that's different because now you can do that through text you because you already some... know that she likes you and you already know that she's interested. And you have some content. Right. But if it's a random new girl you matched with on Tinder, you know, two hours ago or, or yesterday, you understand? And... Your and and just, and just again, it's funny because I feel like most guys at this point. Of course, there's some guys who don't know this is why they still send dick pics. But most guys, at, I feel like most guys at this point, kind of figured out that women aren't really excited about dick pics, and it's confusing to guys like you said because we, yeah, so you know, weird. we're we're visual, we're, we're more. Uh, again, women are visually stimulated too, but we're more visually stimulated. Uh, in in that regard. And I think that a, a stimulating photo from a woman mm. might be more powerful in the sense of getting a guy in the mood mm. than the other way around. Well, yeah. That's if you thing. don't know her. Right, but also, right. but also not necessarily even if you just don't know her. I think also, too, is because what a lot of times what gets a woman, you know, in the mood to make something happen is how she's feeling. Mm. in the moment right you see what I'm so saying? true so then how the fuck you you know but so you don't really you you know you sending the 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 because i think you you said it earlier were you saying that it's out of context yeah that's exactly what it is right. it's that the context like the picture the dick needs to be in context yeah, you understand I really what I'm saying? prefer them on a person. <laughs> right. So that's so for women that's what how it is. For us, we don't need context. Like right. like you see what I'm saying? Like for us, it's like, okay, you send me some titties. I don't care whose titties these is. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 I'm ready, you know, some guys ready to whip the dick out and just jerk off. You understand? But for women, it's like whose dick is this? Right. You understand? Right. And, and so that that right. matters to y'all. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> right, because yeah, context and and I like what, how you said the way we f we're feeling mm -hmm. is so critical to how how turned on we are. Right, right. So it's it's the it's that feeling in the moment, and also in context, it's you know like the 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 guy's dick, whoever it is. Are you into who that dick is attached to? You understand what I'm saying? At that moment when the right. dick is presented. You see what I'm saying? And that's a good point because mm. it's possible someone else mm -hmm. uh, could have, in a similar context, sent me a picture like that. Mm -hmm. And I might have responded differently. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Depending on how I was feeling mm -hmm. about him, about the, the conversation, about, right. you know, whatever, like where, where I was. Mm -hmm. So... Because it's usually, I always hear women say they they'll they'll like when it comes to dick pics they'll like i like a dick pic from a guy that that I, like. that I like like it's a guy that i'm dealing with or a guy that i had sex with or a guy you understand know because it's in that context it's it's that dude you feel what i'm saying and this is what you've also said about the the term creepy mm, right right where can you help 
clarify that. You talking about where? Like, what, what, when would it be creepy for a guy to, to send a dick pic versus... If she's not into him. Right. Right. You see what so I'm saying? The, so, like, like I was saying, like, I could get... I could get a picture like that in theory. I'm not imagining a time that this has happened. Mm-hmm. But in theory, somebody that I felt better about or I felt like I had more of a connection with or mm-hmm. something. Right. Right? And then it wouldn't have felt creepy. Mm-hmm. Whereas because I didn't really have, I hadn't really built any sexual tension with this guy. Mm-hmm. And it felt so out of context, it did seem creepy. Right. <laughs> that's, and so that's what I'm saying where... The whole thing about being sexual with somebody new through text, it's it's a harder thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I've had dudes email me all the time about this. They're like, you know, they're like, I'm on Tinder and I'm sending these girls these texts. And I'm like, okay, well, get them on FaceTime. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, get get to where y'all can talk and she can hear your voice and y'all can interact with each other. So that, because what happens too also is that, see, what guys got to understand is even like, you know, when I talk about having a, a tight mouthpiece and being able to seduce a woman or whatever, any of those things, that 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 really is you getting into the the uh, the flow of the conversation and and being able to you know to to read that interaction because understanding the flow of the conversation and reading the interaction is going to basically tell you what to do. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to say, oh, okay, I see that she's flirting. She's being flirty with me. She's short. Sh- I can see on her face. She's attracted. I can see that she's cool with, you know, uh, having sexual talk. You know what I'm saying? You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, but that all comes through actual conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to be able to do that through text because again, the, the tone is not there and you can't really see the emotion and all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? so tricky yeah so I, I think that's about it but to see you guys this is what i'm this is what i was telling y'all get the program how to uh you know get laid without going on dates go to patreon.com slash mr lucario because you know i teach you guys how to actually make this happen you understand how to get on facetime with these girls and make it happen what you was gonna say i also wanted to point out that even if you have really exceptional dick pics uh-huh. and i've gotten some before <laughs> That doesn't mean it's a turn on. Even that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we're done. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.